I just finished watching the Xbox Game Showcase, and I must say, it was a lot better than what I thought it would be, and it was definitely a lot better than that state of play that I watched for Sony. And I would even go as far as, no, it ain't even going as far as to say, no, it was better than even the Summer Games Fest. It surprised me that Microsoft had a ton of games that they were willing to showcase. Some of them I didn't know were in the works. Some of them I kind of knew were in the works, but either way, to have new information on it, I am thoroughly pleased. I just want to say that. So what we're going to do right now is I'm going to pretty much go over the main ones that, that I particularly am the most excited about. It's only a few of them out of the very lengthy showcase that we got, which some of them might not be the same as a lot of other people. But let me let me let me just let me just talk to you real quick. The first game that I was impressed with was Indiana Jones and the Great Circle. I think the showcase of the game was fantastic. I think that they perfectly illustrated and captured like what Indiana Jones is that that adventure the Nazi punching and all that that he was getting into I think all of that was really great as well as what they showcased or the primary thing that they wanted to really get across was that the cutscenes would feel as though you were watching an Indiana Jones movie and I think they did a really really good job with that in terms of everything else that they showcased within the game here you can see the dialogue between Indiana Jones and the other characters and like how it goes about putting you into the thick of the plot but one of the main things that i noticed that i thought was pretty dope was like when they started to showcase like this part of it him using the whip and then him fighting which kind of looked very reminiscent of indiana jones i thought that that was pretty dope the other thing that i noticed that someone had mentioned in like the chat was that why is it first person instead of third person well it's because machine gun games is making it and they normally make first person games or first person shooters they're responsible for the war Wolfenstein series. The next game that caught my eye was Life is Strange Double Exposure. Now the reason why I'm excited for this game is because Life is Strange 1 was one of those narrative games that I thoroughly enjoyed. I think it was the first one after the Wolf Among Us that I actually took a liking into. With this second one, it seems as though they're going to be going a little bit more deeper into Max's powers and having her utilize them a bit more to save this new friend that she has. It's not going to be similar to what was going on with Chloe. So I find that a little bit interesting and I want to see how they handle this. Next up is Fable. Fable is one of those games that I grew up with. It was one of the games that I had on Xbox, the original giant. I played Fable 1 and then when the Lost Chapters came out, I played that i was the first i went to the midnight launch for fable 2 fable 3 was the one i didn't play my wife beat that though because i had got her into fable as well fable is like one of those really really good games that i think people kind of sleep on a little bit granted it's probably because of when peter molyneux was was hyping up the game back in the day he used to lie a lot about some of the things that were going to be in the game but this one seems as though it's going to be a little bit more realistic They're, they don't have like the cartoony proportion however they do have an aesthetic to it that kind of makes it feel like it's more so in the fairy tale here i can't really decipher how the gameplay is going to be if it's going to feel like fable or anything like that because there isn't really much there at the moment from a narrative standpoint from an aesthetic standpoint the game looks really good and I'm curious to see more about it. Now I'm hoping that later on this year or at another showcase, Xbox decides to, I guess, release more information about the gameplay of the game. Well, I guess until then we won't know. And even in like some of these walking segments that you see on the screen, like it doesn't really go that deep into what the game would really look like and i think there was one action sequence where she did like a spell the people popped in the end she shot them at the same time to me yeah hit right here that's that's not enough one of the games that i'm really excited for as well or the next game i should say is Metal Gear Solid Delta Snake Eater. Snake Eater is one of my favorite games in the Metal Gear Solid franchise. I believe that it is one of the best games of all time. And for them to remake it, it has me a little bit interested in seeing what they would do in a post Kojima world. I wanna know how Capcom is gonna handle this. So far from what I see, it looks good. It passed the eye test. I just, I just need to see a little bit more or at least like the game in action with the HUD displayed and actions actually being taken in a more continuous and succinct manner but other than that i'm excited for this for the next game i wasn't the biggest fan of doom eternal i'll just put that out there i kind of preferred doom one over doom eternal but with this one this one
one looks interesting. This one has my eye. I, I want to see more of this. I want to play this, especially with the new shield mechanic that they're showcasing in this trailer, as well as the, the different ways that you can approach enemy encounters and a ton of other stuff that I, I just picked up in the trailer. It looks interesting. It looks like it's going to be a whole lot of fun. And with the Viking aesthetic that the Doom Slayer has, I'm, I'm digging it. I'm rocking with it. I need, I need this. Out of all the games showcased, I would say this one is one of the ones that shocked me the most and it kind of went higher on my tier list and if you haven't noticed i'm putting these in order of games that like i'm the most excited for this one really caught my eye i love the aesthetic of the game i love the animation style especially with the pseudo stop motion look of it like how how it was done with spider-man into the spider-verse i really like this a lot and then how there are different creatures in the world that kind of have these different aspects to them like how that gator and the swamp pretty much has it's mutating with the land so to speak because it has like moss on its back as well as like trees and all that growing up growing out of it and then this one is pretty much a giant catfish it's it's interesting and i want to see more of it the way the character moves and the platforming it really reminds me of the early 2000s which i really dig and on top of that it seems like it has a little bit of that mesh of like beyond good and evil jack and daxter ratchet and clankness to it which i dig but when you get into the combat it's entirely different it kind it's kind of reminiscent of that of fable so i feel it i, I want this game for the next game i have not been keeping up with this franchise since the third one when they released judgment i was done with the series and then like me and my homie we started playing what was it gears 4 and i think we was going to try beat gears 4 to get into gears 5 i, I just me and gears of war we ain't, we ain't really like that ever since cliffy b left but with this one because i thought this was gear 6 when they showcased it turns out that's not the case this is gears of war E day which is a prequel to gears one which a lot of us at the time we wanted to know what happened that got everything to this point i believe gears 2 and gears 3 it tried to do a good job of filling in those narrative holes that were there to explain how the locusts became what they are and i think it did a pretty decent job at it but it's nothing like actually being able to go through it yourself and with this i will say i am going to be playing this joint. i'm gonna go through the campaign of one through three again before it come out and then i'm booting this drain up immediately with this out and for the game that i'm most excited about the one that was revealed a lot of people don't know about me i guess since i started this channel i'm a big gamer i've been gaming for as long as i can remember i'm 33 years old now but i started gaming like back during the nes era my first system that i had to myself was the nintendo 64. first system i had to myself nintendo 64. first games i got was super mario 64 007 golden the next game i got after that was perfect dark and we used to play that game religiously granted i didn't go through the campaign we mostly just did the four player split screen multiplayer but the game was amazing from the guns to the tech that they had in the game all that when i saw this net game was revealed at first i didn't know this was the game until i heard that jingle and then when i heard the jingle i was like why does that that jingle sound familiar and at first i was like oh this is probably like from some big blockbuster movie right didn't turn out to be the case the more it went into it and then i started looking at everything as you you can see it on the screen like her actions how she's moving how dark is moving and everything you're like hold up why does this all seem so familiar and then one thing hit me right i was like hold up perfect dark zero did come out and it kind of looked like this but perfect dark zero wasn't really that good it got to a point where she got into the action mode and she cocked the gun right here i was like i remember that because we used to use that weapon a lot in the n64 i was like i remember that gun i was like ain't no way they remade perfect dark and then she got to a point and the dude mentioned her name and he said dark i was like ain't no way y'all remade this drink i'm excited it looks good it passed my eye test i just gotta get the sticks in my hand and play it for myself but it looks fantastic i can't wait until this game come out i'm gonna get an xbox series x specifically for this game originally i was like i was i was thinking about getting one for indiana jones and then i was like well i can't just get it for one game nope perfect dark is that game that i'm getting it for <laughs> i i love the series granted zero wasn't the best but here you can see that there's a lot of love and care that's going into this game there's new tech that's involved the gunplay looks fantastic some of the quick time events looks great it, I, i'm just saying man 
I don't understand how people aren't excited for this. This is a good time for gaming, yo. These are the games that I'm pretty much excited about. Again, I think the Xbox showcase was pretty good. I think it was solid, very well rounded. I just hope that they don't fumble the bag with the execution on any of these games. And that's all I got for y'all. I'ma holla at y'all later.